Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Sam Sneed, and this is Tales from the Crypto Coins. Uh, we're picking up where we left off from our first video of the MetaMask creation of the wallet, and we're going to take it a step further and learn how to use it on decentralized exchanges. The first stop is the IDEX exchange. Um, IDEX exchange is simply a decentralized uh, exchange that houses a plethora of tokens and um, it's just a really neat exchange, really easy to use and really user friendly. So we're going to walk through, I'll give you a quick tour and show you all the bells and whistles and things like that. So to the left right here is all of the coins that they list. One of the advantages of a decentralized exchange is that um, the ICOs that don't get listed on the larger exchanges tend to go directly to decentralized exchanges and idex is one of the uh, the uh, exchanges that tend to list these coins so you always have a large selection of coins which brings liquidity to the exchange so if you take a look they even have my favorite one of my favorite coins pundi te food which just ended haven just ended icon data credits that was an awesome ico i actually did that one forex return i was pretty stoked about that um cryptorium bit degree i mean you can scroll down and i'll just give you an idea zrx uh whoo they got some good coins here nucleus vision and you can just go you trust and it's just a ton of coins so it gives you an idea of how many coins they have right so i'll scroll down i love how they use the uh, trading view um charts that's awesome because they have all of the tools that you need if you're a ta or you're trying to learn how they have them so if you look here they have the buy and sell um it's pretty self-explanatory one thing i like is it helps for the newbies if you um don't know how to count and things like that you can just type in how many you want and when you sync your wallet and things like that um your balance would be right here and you can just see with the fee included how much um, it's going to cost you and you can pretty much figure it out right um, instead of having to use the converter which um, just slows you down things like that if you scroll further down to the left they have the update screen I, I like that as well kind of reminds me of traditional markets where they give you the live feed of um, the stocks and the, so the social what's going on the social beat so they have the axe and the bid wall you scroll down a bit further um, you can see when you sync your wallet They'll have the my the open orders as well. If you have um, any open orders, you can view it here, as well as your trades, your past trades. Now, the decentralized exchange doesn't house any coins. It just houses the information that accesses once it opens and syncs to your wallet. So once you open and sync your wallet, then all that information will come and be available right here on that screen, which is pretty cool. So. That's the exchange. This is the home page. And you pretty much can execute and do everything from this page. So now we're going to get started. And we're going to unlock, we're going to unlock and sync our wallet. So we're using a MetaMask wallet. As I stated earlier, you can use a Ledger wallet. Um, it's a hardware wallet. And I, that's the wallet I tend to use, that or a Trezor. Um, they're just much more secure than the MetaMask wallet. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're using the MetaMask wallet. So you're going to unlock that. takes a second and it syncs so the one way you know it syncs you see this icon here of the user and that's your wallet right there okay so let's walk through the buttons you see these buttons they're pretty self-explanatory right now in order to use the exchange there is one function you have to go to balances and you have to go to full balances you have to fund your um from your wallet the exchange's wallet in order to buy anything on the exchange so now that we've synced my wallet, you can see my balance that was in my MetaMask, you see right here, is right here because now my wallet is synced, synced and you can see that. So you have to transfer and then you pretty much have to deposit. So you want to come over here and deposit. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory as well. Um, a maker, you have to pay 0 0.15, about 150. A taker, 0 0.05 to place it. Um, I want to send my entire balance there. You don't have to send your entire balance. Whatever's in your wallet, whatever you want to spend, you can send that. I'm sending my entire balance. Um, see, and it automatically 
deducts the gas fee, right? So you send that over. You click deposit. It's asking me, are you sure you want to deposit that? Why? Because the minimum trades are 0 0.15 for makers and 0 point for takers, right? Minimum withdrawal. So I'm saying yes, I want to confirm. Now, it's asking, it's talking to the MetaMask wallet, and it's basically asking again, do you want to confirm this transaction? And the transaction is, I had $44 total, and the fee just to change, uh, just to transfer it is five dollars pretty high but you have to think the exchange has to make money and this is just gas fees so you're going to submit that deposit has been submitted and you pretty much have to wait right it takes a few uh, minutes maybe one one to five minutes and you just want to click okay and it'll come back right so now you're going to go to the exchange page Let's scroll down. Let's see if it if it hit. No, it's not there. But when it does populate, it will pop up right here, and you'll be able to see your balance. Okay, so that took about three minutes. Our deposit hit, and look, we're ready to go. I'm going to click OK, and if you scroll down, our, ba our balance should be there, but it's not. Interesting. Maybe I should hit the refresh button. That'll do it. There we go. So our balance is there. Sometimes you just have to hit the refresh button. It happens from time to time. So we want to buy, we're going to buy Pundi X coin. Um, I know I've been talking about it today all day. So why not just keep it going? Um, and it's actually down 11%. So it's a great time to buy. All right. So now I see my balance. And this is what I talked about earlier. I could just come down here and kind of guess how much um, I want. So I'm going to put in like, 50,000. I don't have that. <laughs> so well, I can't afford that either. So I think there's a button you can press and it's right here. And you can buy with all your available um, ETH if you don't under if you don't know how much that is, right? So I'm going to click that. So that's not bad. That's 44,728. And I can buy that. So you can click the buy button. Again, it's going to come, it's going to talk to you. And basically, you're just signing the message saying that, hey, you are confirming that, hey, this exchange can sign off on this message and you do want to buy um, the uh, Poon GX, right? And you're just going to say yes. You want to sign off on that. And give it a second and the transaction should go through shortly. So there you have it. We've purchased. It's actually gone through and actually had to purchase a little more, but that's perfectly fine. So now, if you look, my balance, the Ether is used, and now I have the Pundi in my wallet ready to go. That was pretty easy, right? I'm going to scroll back up here. Now, if I go to the balances, you want to go to full balances, that's where you can see everything that's going on. So, Let's kind of run through the summary. When I first started, I had this balance. And this is my current balance, by the way. But when I first started, my initial balance was here. We then had to transfer it into the my IDEX wallet. And then it populated here. We then spent it and bought Pundi. And now our Pundi wallet is full. And it's worth here, 82 bucks, 82.31. So what are we going to do now? Because the Pundi is actually not in my wallet it's on the decentralized exchange wallet so we want to we want to withdraw that right and we're going to withdraw our entire amount because we want to withdraw it and keep it in or place it into our metamask wallet for safekeeping you know withdraw and ask you confirm see again it these prompts i like them they ask you make sure you, you know what you're doing make sure you agree if you take your time go slow all these prompts are here to help you so that you don't make the mistake, right? Because if in crypto, if you make a mistake, honestly, it's pure negligence. So we want to confirm that. 
And sometimes, there you go, you have to confirm the transactions, and sometimes it doesn't always populate. But if you look here, you see the number one that lets you know there's a message. And in order for the transaction to talk to your MetaMask, you just have to sign off of it, just like we did earlier. I'm going to click that, and there you go. So now, basically what's happened is you have initiated, let's move this here, sorry. You have initiated the transfer back to your MetaMask wallet. Here is the Ether scan. Um, that you can pretty much watch, right? And you can um, track it to make sure everything went well. That's why I love it. So here's another part of the Ether scan that we haven't seen. And this is the transaction um, in process. So if you look here, it says about 1 minute and 13 seconds until it con um, confirms. Um, and the confirmations all will be here. And then once it confirms, it will populate here. And I will, I've already added the um, token to my wallet, so we'll see it there, All right? So let's give it a couple minutes, and we'll check back shortly. Okay, so we're back. It's been roughly about a minute, and look, that fast. It's there. That simple. So, and this is all for one block confirmation. Um, took 39 seconds. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty neat, pretty fast, too. So... There you have it. We have just um, used, oh, let's uh, press OK. And look at that. So our, our my wallet balance, again, remember, it syncs up here. Now the IDEX wallet is empty, and now my, my uh, MetaMask wallet is full. So you want to disconnect your wallet, you just sign out, and you sign out like that. Now watch what happens when you sign out and you go back to the exchange. It's like disconnecting. Um, from the uh, MetaMask wallet and you no longer have to worry about your information being tied. See the balances? It disappeared. All of the information, there's nothing there, right? You're good to go. And look, the icon with the uh, user is no longer here. So that lets you know that you've signed off correctly. All right? So today we have done, um, we've set up a MetaMask wallet. We have learned how to use IDEX. We've placed a trade. And we've even transferred it back to our MetaMask wallet. Um, hopefully, this was a easy tutorial for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And um, until next time, peace.